Hi folks. So today we've got something a little bit unusual here. Uh, this is the Berg Wachter uh, E700 and it's one of a series of four different models that they make of uh, what they call lock guards as the rough translation because it's not these are not usually uh, marketed in the US. Uh, I have heard a bunch of people say that they've found them being fitted to uh, display cabinets and the like, but um, what this is designed to do is if you have an old-fashioned uh, door with a, a warded or a lever lock set, uh, this is designed to slide into the keyway like that, so you can slide it in, and then it fills up the keyway and turn the key so you can remove it and now this uh, little tab will stick out and it will lock it in place so that no one can actually insert a key even if they have a copy of your key. So they would have to first pick this to remove it and then they would have to uh, pick or impression your warded lock or lever lock. Uh, anyway, kind of interesting. Uh, very unusual key. The key is actually larger than the lock. Um, and the profile is really unusual. About the only other thing I've ever seen a keyway profile like this on is uh, the TSA-003, which has a similar shape to it. This wide V cutout and this big open space on the bottom, uh, which this key actually fills up. Uh, not a huge number of differs, supposedly, from uh, some locksmiths that I've spoken to that are at least passingly familiar with this system. Uh, but still, all together, very interesting. But, um, you know what? Let's see if we can get this thing open, just in case. There we go. So, because this is a old lock and they're kind of hard to find, I'm going to put a bit of paper towel on there. And for the first time in a while, I'm breaking out the vise for this, just because this thing is so tiny. It is really hard to uh, pick it in the hand. So for tension, I'm going to use my thinnest Peterson pry bar. Just going to fit it up right there on the channel. And already we can see it's got a little bit of slop there. And that is the wrong pick. Uh, it probably possible to use a very small hook pick or maybe even a standard hook pick uh, to pick one of these but uh, I'm gonna try it with the Peterson uh, Euro Profile half diamond standard thickness and I'm just gonna slip it in there there we go and see if I can do this without my hand uh, getting in the way of the camera there we go Right, so we've got our tool in, got some tension applied, and we're just going to feel around. It feels like pin number two is binding. So we're going to try to get centered on that. Oh. It's really hard to get a half diamond pick uh, centered on a pin. Oh, but we've got a click there, so hopefully that means it's set. I think we're getting uh, feedback on number three now. Okay, lighten up on tension. A lot harder to do in front of the camera than it is when I was practicing yesterday. And I think I dropped number two, possibly. Okay, so number two is set again. Still feeling around. This thing is really tight. And the half diamond is, as I said, very hard to center, particularly when you're dealing with sloped pins. And, oh, there we go. Just a little bit of a click from number four. And now if I can get this thing unjammed. There we go. And 
open. So uh, this is the E700, like I said, the other models in this series, which all use essentially the same key, uh, are the E7 and E6, which uh, they have this section on the back, Rotate, actually, um, and the difference between those two models is one is 7 millimeters wide, the other is 6 millimeters wide. They don't have as much of this uh, sort of beard down here. And then uh, the ME, which I believe is also uh, 6 millimeters wide, and that's made for furniture locks. But uh, anyway, all in all, interesting little bit of uh, history and oddities that you don't see in the U.S. anyway. Uh, they do still actually market these uh, in Europe, so if you are in one of the areas where they still sell them, uh, you can pick them up usually for about 15 euro, I think, uh, with a, a brand new with a set of keys. So anyway, uh, until next time, have fun and happy picking.